Oh, Jesus. Are we gonna go get some exercise? Is Run Buddy Mobile here? Yes. Let's go. Let's go run. Come on. <laughs> there isn't a treadmill for me, but there are two for the dogs. So my two are inside and they are ready, excited, and they're going crazy and they were barking as I walked out. So they know they're, they're gonna be up to something. So this is gonna be really cool. So this is David, owner of Run Buddy Mobile, and Shawnee, his assistant, who's gonna have her hands full with my two. Of course. You've been warned. All right, let's go get these two. Do you wanna go running? Yeah, these treadmills are basically invented for puppies. <laughs> okay, Bear, can you sit like a good girl? Sit. Thank you. Okay. So do they need like a harness or no, just harness? Oh, 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 oh. We do have harnesses, so if it's something where once they get comfortable if they'll do better in a harness, we have those. Okay, okay. Um, and then the I whole think trick is, is for them to learn the balance, okay. and then they're not even really pulling on their collar. Okay. They balance themselves out on the middle of the mill. Exactly. And then once they get going and they need a challenge, there's weighted Are you ready there's weighted right? colors, oh. there's incline. It's just like any other exercise. You have it's to keep it challenging. You have to keep them moving. So you get creative. This is gonna be so awesome. Okay, let's do it. Let's run. Let's run Buddy Mobile. So every dog is different when they first go on the mill. Some of them take to it right away and they'll just start booking it. Others, they get a little timid. You know, it's like the first time you go snowboarding. You have to understand the balance and how it works. So through the training, through David taking his time to teach the dog how to use the mill, we get the dogs used to it, comfortable, super safe, and then let them just take off when they're ready. There you go, nice and easy, nice and easy. Just working in the process of learning his balance. Come on, so if anything, I'm just slowing him down now, so he, you know, so he doesn't hurt himself. There we go. There we go. Come on, come on, Hubbard. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, that's what I want. I want him right up front. I want him pulling the treadmill on his own. Come on. Is he being lazy or? <laughs> He's kind of a lazy dog. Still trying to figure it out there. Okay. So that he can do Reese says way. you're doing so good. Are you happy, boy? Yes. And then if you notice, every step he takes, the treadmill has a little bit of give. So this is better for them than walking on the concrete. It's a little bit easier on their joints, especially when I have a lot of dogs coming off surgery and the owners never knew when to get them walking again and now they're overweight. But you'll see, like, he's seven years old. Even after just one time on the treadmill, you'll see, like, kind of him turn back to clock. He'll turn back into his younger self. They're self-propelled, so, so there's he's, no he's danger. He's the controlling work. the speed. He's doing the work. Okay. And that's where he's getting that inner work mentality, you know, calm mental state of mind. Come on, Papa, let's go. He didn't let's seem nervous. I don't think he really seemed nervous. No, no, he'll walk on here until he's comfortable. And then with cheering and clapping, that's when we'll get him to run. We don't do any food motivation in here. That's mainly for humans. That's for our... People like me. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so happy. That tail is just wagging. It's like such a hard forced wag, right? Like, look at me. I'm happy. <laughs> Come on. He's just focused. Maybe he's looking for this. Oh, he's looking for this. Oh, is that what he wants? Is that what he wants? So how long a dog like him who's seven years old? We do 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Um, again, we'll do some wellness checks at like 15 and 20 minutes in. Okay. Um, we have water in case, you know, in case he gets thirsty. A little water break like a marathon runner and then yeah. put him back to his paces. Come on, Bubba, let's go. That's his favorite. Get that reindeer, get that reindeer. <laughs> oh, there she goes. Easy, easy, nice and easy. Good girl, there you she, go, come on. She's actually really timid. Come on. Whoa, Reese! <laughs> Man, you picked up speed quick. Yeah, this will give her confidence in everything she does in life. It's really, it's really strange the like hypnotic effect a good mental and physical workout combined will give a dog. So I'm surprised that she's actually seeming way different than he was. I, did, I expected the opposite. I'm a little worried about that guy. Not so much about you. 
That's so funny, we get that from a lot of people. They bring out their dogs and they say, this one's not gonna do it, but the other two will. And then the other two are all nervous and the one's killing it. She is super focused on right now learning the balance of what it is. Now we're just gonna give her time and patience and let her figure it out, smell it out. And when she decides she's ready to run, we'll egg her on, sweep a toy at her, clap for her, and that's when she'll decide to, to start really booking it. Yeah, you want them to learn the balance and learn the mills first before trying to push them and make them move faster and faster because you know, we really want them to be safe first. Yeah. Like if she did this for a full 30 minutes, we would be very pleased. Oh, okay. Her, <laughs> she looks like she's dying. This is her on a mental workout right now. Okay. You know, she will be completely tuckered out. It's just enough stress to make it positive, to where they're doing something new, they're solving a problem, and they're getting two different workouts here. He's still focusing, but he's getting a little bit more physical exercise. He's learned his balance. He's moving up and down the mill freely. She's completely focused on what she's doing, and she might end up more tired than him because the mental workout is, is, is uh, so much greater than the physical one. And now it's just a matter of her getting comfortable, her head will pop up, her chest will stick out, and then maybe if we're lucky, maybe in about five, 10 minutes, I'll give her a little water, and then we'll see if she'll unleash on the treadmill. I can tell not only their personality, but how much their owners spend time with them. So the more time you spend with your dog, the easier this is for me to train them on them. So, <laughs> so am I a good dog mom Yes, you spend no? a lot of time with your dog. <laughs> yes, for sure. When people notice that running your dog once a week, the level of health that they reach and the, the level of mental well-being that they reach is really incredible. I can teach people what their dog needs and come and deliver it to their home and now more people will keep their dogs forever. There'll be less dogs at the shelter. We'll have, you know, more dogs finding permanent homes. I started this um, just knowing that people were returning dogs to shelters and this country uh, puts down about five million dogs a year in this country and it's ridiculously horrible when the dogs are at these shelters and people, oh, there's not good dogs at the shelter. There's plenty of puppies at the shelters. People are still shopping at the mall. So if you can rehabilitate an animal for people to understand that the dog just needs a proper amount of exercise and we can find more dogs' homes, well, that's the root of it. Happy, healthy dog. Well, at the shelter they say uh, a healthy dog is a happy dog and happy dogs get adopted. And Reese got adopted. Yeah, she's getting her balance. Like she's trying to lift her head up, but then she's watching her feet again. She's being very, very careful. She is. Her body posture's changed a lot. It's been how many minutes? Seven. And now I'm, look at her head. It's like him. He's in, he's in complete control. It's like she's a little nervous kind of still, just right? Just a little. Just a little. And she's like, focus, look at tail wagging, happy, yeah. focus, 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 <laughs> happy, happy, happy. But when they're on the treadmill like this and they're so focused on what they're doing, when people tell me, oh, my dog is fit people, my dog is male aggressive, my dog is toy aggressive. While they're on here, I'll play with their face, play with their mouth, tickle them, you know, and kind of get them really comfortable. And that way that'll translate and transfer into your everyday life. Come on, mom, can you give me the reindeer? She likes the reindeer. Right. Yeah, she's picking up speed. Come on, bear. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on. I want to see you run. Reese, you're doing so good, my love. You're doing so good. Good job, baby. Come on, mama. I'm curious to see if uh, she gets triggered by uh, by the harness. She, she might. She might really like it. I mean, they were bred to wear harnesses. You like that better? Good girl, mama. Good girl. We'll start doing the intervals and then at the end we'll slow them down and just let them cool off, you know? Get them like that nice slow walk for the last five minutes. Really close to running. If you I notice right now, she's walking really fast. fast. But as soon as she wants to trot, it'll just be up to her to let loose. This is a controlled environment. Not only is the mill safer, but also healthier because it has some skin. The mill also have shocks built in. And then the bearings we chose for the speed that these go are built for endurance, not for any kind of sprinting or racing. 80% of their body weight on the front paws. Which is why dogs have so many shoulder issues, right? Yep. Okay. Somebody's tired. A tired husky's a happy husky. 30 minutes on here is about an hour and five, hour and 15 minute walk. Focus, repetitive motion. Control. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Oh, look at she's Come about on. to run. Come on. Come on, mama. Come on. 
Come on, Mama, let's go. Yeah, there we go, there we go. <laughs> if this band's a rockin', there's dogs a walking. <laughs> Slowing down. He's cruising at the end of his workout, four kilometers. And then there she goes, look at she's back up to ten again. Come on, Mama, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Good morning, good morning, run buddy mobile, Chandler, Arizona. Look at these superstars. Check out this husky, Dakota. Come on, Kona, let's go. Good girl, there you go. And look at Reese's. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Reese's just hit his 30 minute mark. We're just letting him cool down for a minute. Both first timers. Doing excellent. Come on. We're on dogs. Oh, Are you my handsome man? Yeah, you give him lots of love, lots of encouragement. We don't really yeah. do treats at the end. We want to be motivated just by enthusiasm and positivity. Come on. You did so good. We got her running though. We did. Yeah, she's super close to like really unleashing. She just needs to have that leap of faith and throw the treadmill behind her. Come on, mama. Let's go. Let's go. Two seconds. She can just stop the whole thing. Yeah, she does. They can really control it, right? Yeah, she just stops. Are you tired? Huh? Is that a good run? My tired puppy. Always calm. We run dogs. A lot of people adopt a dog and give it like two days and then return it. And simply, they did not give the dog the proper chance and nor did they give the dog the proper amount of exercise. And people are just missing the boat. People are spending millions of dollars on dog training when really, over the years when people have asked me like, why are your dogs so perfectly well-mannered? And I just, my thing is always just run your dog. Like just run them. Like they need to get the proper amount of exercise for what they were bred to do. Now you run dogs of all shapes, all oh, sizes, yes. all breeds, all colors, all health. <laughs> All temperaments. Benefits. Well, so it's a mental benefit and a physical benefit. Obviously, as we know, just like people, you need exercise. It gives you endorphins. It makes you feel good, makes you feel happy. The same goes for your dog. If you can work them out, they're happy dogs. They're relaxed. They get that energy and anxiety out. And so that lets you better train them. It also lets you spend the time that you want with your dog. You know, our goal is to take care of the bulk of their physical and mental exercise need. So that way you get to be with the dog that you want the way you want to. 